Well, five people were shot late last night in Germantown. Police say 87 bullets were fired. Eyewitness News anchor Natasha Brown shows us now. She's covering that story for you tonight. Natasha. Yeah, more violence mm. to end the year. Yuki, last night's dramatic shooting, it underscored a tragically violent year for the city of Philadelphia. The video you're about to see may be disturbing. Another night of violence on the streets of Philadelphia as surveillance video captures as many as six gunmen firing on a crowd outside of a bodega in the 5100 block of Germantown Avenue and Column Street. A 21-year-old woman was caught in the crossfire and shot multiple times. Four males were also hit with bullets as some exchanged gunfire with the shooters. This latest shooting happened around 11.30 Thursday night with an astounding 87 shots fired. Two and a half hours later in Kensington, a 29-year-old man was shot and killed. Historic levels of violence in the city has many anti-violence groups rattled just hours before a new year begins. When you're looking at family and loved ones are just living in the city of Philadelphia. It impacts all of us. Many people do not feel safe. For many, the uneasy feeling of fear is warranted with Philadelphia reaching 560 homicides Friday morning and more than 2,200 shooting victims. Community activists and anti-violence organizations have been putting boots on the ground in violence-ravaged neighborhoods, hoping to put a dent in rising crime. Where the act of going to the grocery store or sitting outside or playing or even just having a wonderful holiday meal feels dangerous. City officials and many state legislators are pouring money into crime fighting initiatives and anti-violence community groups who often have more of an understanding of neighborhood needs. Ceasefire PA has been one of those groups rallying for more help to combat the daily flow of gun violence. It's not intractable, it's not unsolvable. So if we can get a handle on illegal firearm trafficking, get these resources to community violence prevention programs that have cut violence by 50 percent or more, Although we are ending the year with record violence, many say that they're at the table right now to improve the situation in 2022. And of course, we will be here and watching and bringing you the stories. Yuki. All right, Natasha, thank you for that.